It's early. What time is it? It's 9 a.m. That's not early. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to all the cams in Rochester and I thought we could do like a pizzerias tour. Let me show you all the pizzerias because I talk about the other ones like Mount Hope, Henrietta, Penfield. I thought it would be fun to like show you all the pizzerias. They're like members of my family. They practically raised me. <laughs> yeah. Every single store has its own story and impact on my life and my personal growth and I thought this would be fun. And the first store we're going to is Penfield. Penfield is a store that I like to say made me become a woman. Penfield to me is the most iconic pizzeria. It's like Penfield and Browncroft, or they mean so much to me. I mean all of them, but there's something about the Penfield store that hits my heartstrings real hard. Remember when I first became manager here? Yes. There's a McDonald's right next door. I went to the McDonald's to get, you know, the people coffee in the morning, like the workers coffee, because I wanted to be like a fun manager, and I locked myself out. I brought my phone, but my keys were inside, but I used a side door and it locks you out. I was so embarrassed. I was crying because it was like my first day being in charge and I screwed up from the beginning. So my one phone call was Jason. <laughs> I called Jason crying and I was like, I'm such an idiot. I locked myself out and he did not judge me. He's like, I'm going to be there in like 10 Aww. minutes. I got you. This oven. <laughs> Let me tell you guys about this oven. These ovens have to be at 500 degrees. This one, there was an era where it did not want to heat up. It would go to 500 degrees and then would go down to like 300 degrees. And like you cannot make pizza in 300 degree ovens. And it just went down and temp. And I had so many customers and I was like, I, there's nothing I could do. I was like a young kid, like I didn't know what to do. And then called Jason and I was like, what do I do? That was one of my worst memories, but thinking about it now is funny. <laughs> But that's like part of what I mean by the store made me a woman. That was a tough time. So this is Lainey, everybody. Lainey is the franchisee owner of Penfield. How long have we known each other? Oh God, years? How Six, long has it been? Seven? We met in college and <laughs> it sounds like we're here. <laughs> what was our first class? Advertising. Advertising. Yeah. We took an advertising class. Teacher hated my guts. Um, but then we became friends. And how did it happen? How did you start working here? I think I was just talking about what I do or like we needed help, but I think it I was like very you low help. key. Because you would just subtly be like, oh, you need a job. <laughs> and I was definitely desperate for money at the time. It's like it'd be fun. Like yeah, we could yeah. work together. You would act like that about it. you'd be like it's Whatever. It's really important to me, this store. I was telling them about how I became a woman in the store. You know, the <laughs> store, yeah. like the store I grew up in. And it was really important to me, whoever like has this store, it had to be like very important to not only like the pizzerias, but like to me, because the store is super sentimental to me. And like, I'm very happy that this is Lady's store. When me and Lainey would make dough, we would like have really deep talks at this table. Do you remember those? Yeah. We'd have really deep talks at this table. We'd get real. We would deep. get very real. Lainey works literally every single hour of her store. Like as my job, I look at like, you know, all the franchisees, like what they're working. Maybe they have this time off. Maybe they only have this many hours this week. Lainey consistently has every single hour on her schedule. And like, that's insane. I purposely don't add them up because I don't want to look at that number, but it's somewhere between 70 and 80 hours. Yeah. She always consistently, it's not like just, oh, two weeks. It's like every single week. Mm -hmm. God bless you. And thank you for helping the family business. Aww. And you, my friend, being a, a part of the pie. <laughs> okay, say bye, Lane. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Here we are at Browncroft. Yeah, this is like home to me now. This is the store that you guys always see me stream in. If you watch my streams, Pizza Princess G. Check it out. Twitch, y'all. Carly, say hi. So we're at Browncroft. Usually at the store, I was acting manager here for a while. So this store means a lot to me in a lot of ways. I feel like I was really put to the test at this location because a lot of things happened at the beginning and I had to step up and take over it. And it's also really special to me because literally right outside. Over here is where I used to dance growing up. Literally right there. I went to elementary school down there and then I went to high school down this way. So like this is pretty much where I grew up. And it's so cool that we like have a pizzeria here in the middle of basically my childhood. I think it's really cool. Also this store means a lot to me because I met Mike here, so that's really special. Aww. Mike's, you know. Yeah, I met Mike here. You guys already know the store. I don't have to give you a whole like 
tour. You know what it looks like. This is home. This is, this is basically home base. You know what this is making me think about? Like just reflecting on all these stores and like life. My sister trained me in the pizzerias when I was young, like a long time ago. I was so timid. I was so afraid. I was so scared. I was not good. Remember? Yep. I tell my new employees this and they're like, you scared? Like, you timid? What? You're crazy. And I'm like, no, this was me back then. And the pizzerias have helped me so much with confidence and like rejection, you know, try to upsell someone says no or someone gets mad at you for price, like not taking it personally. Like when I was younger, this stuff affected me to the point where I would like tell my parents, I'm like, I'm not going back. Like, I will not go back. I will not work. And thank God I worked because I would have been more of a brat than I am today. <laughs> Cam Sunrietta, we made it. All right, I'm here with Matt, owner of Henrietta Cams. Matt. Hello, you know, I'm Matt, AKA The Kid. Tell them how we met. So we met, I uh, got hired circa 2017. By uh, me, I hired him. Yes, yes, which was a really good choice. I just needed part. a driver. <laughs> She's like, you have the look to really bring sales in. <laughs> I we did could not use say that. that. Yeah, did she not. did, word for word. And I was like, all right, sure, like, that's fine. We met at that Penfield location, which is also another reason why Penfield's super important to me. I met. Myself. Sure. I met Lainey, who is now the owner, and I met Matt as well in that location, which is why it's so important, because look, now he has his own store here, you know, and she has her own store, which is that one. So that right. store is really important, but we met in Penfield. People have said that my pizzas are, you know, you can't even compare it. Matt makes pretty good pizzas. People think that I, like, have a protractor, but it's just these. I've never heard this. A lot of people say it. I've never heard they this. say, Matt, you're so like, oh my god. Annie, do you want to say hi? Hi. This is Annie, one of the best employees, honestly, that I think we have. She's Matt's assistant manager. Yep, yep. And he's super hashtag blessed, as you can see in their kitchen. <laughs> They have a blessed sign. When I started working here, I was like just beginning to do YouTube stuff. And I remember like every morning I'd come in and I would like talk about stuff with Matt, different kind of like skits and stuff we could do. This store brings back a lot of memories. The whole time I've been here because of COVID, it's been like really difficult, especially this location got hit really hard. I was gonna say this store out of all of the cams got hit the hardest with COVID. I feel like a lot of people in my position probably would have lost their mind or like gave up but like your boy he keeps going so you all out there you keep going you know uh <laughs> stop so this is our freezer room it's a freezer cut breaking uh, i have a billy island poster <laughs> It's a, it's a running joke. One of my employees, when she started, like Billie Eilish was playing a lot. She's like, does Matt really like Billie Eilish? So Annie got me this poster. When I hired you and we sat down for your interview, mm -hmm. did you think you would still know me right now? Nah. Did nah. you think you'd still have this job? No, definitely not. I mean, what do you I think was... it all means? I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out. They were the... part of the same pizza. We're the slices that make up oh, the pizza. Wow. Grande Supreme. Unbelievable. That was Henrietta. <laughs> Mount Hope Cam's Pizzeria. This is the first store that I ever made pizza in. Also has the big Cam's mirror. I always took selfies in this mirror when I was younger. I was like 15 when I was working here a lot. I worked here every single morning in the summer. How long have you been working at this location? Eight or nine years, lost track. And how long have you been the owner of this location? Uh, two and a half. I've learned how to make some good pizza. That's very true. For that I wanted to know pizza is amazing because if you can eat it every day and not be sick of it after nine years. So you eat pizza every day pretty much? Pretty much, yeah. See, yeah. I go home for two days. If I'm not here, I come back and I'm like, nice. That's how I am too. I'm the same way. So yeah, that was Mount Hope. They get busy. So I couldn't really talk that long to you guys about it, but it's the biggest store. I can't believe I learned how to make pizza in that store. Like officially, like the first pizza I made was Cam's favorite. It came out perfect. Then I made a another pizza. It was a pepperoni and it came out terribly. And that was the start of my pizza career. We used to drive from Penfield to here and you had to let yep. me drive your car. I learned how to drive driving to this location. It was like every day in the summer. Every morning I would work at Mount Hope and then at night I would go to Ontario. Bye Mount Hope!
So now, we're not going to Ontario because Jason's gonna do that. That's his store. That's the one that you guys saw in the last video where we were just like working there. I streamed there, I think, before? I forget. Yes, you streamed there when I was out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I streamed there once when I was working there. But Ontario, you're not gonna see. We're going to our <laughs> newborn baby who's gonna open up in about a month. This is Cam's Rock. It's not done yet but we're going to give you an update on that. I'm really excited about it. This is the store that I'm gonna pretty much be going to as soon as it opens. And Browncroft, I'm gonna take some time away from it, which is sad because I've been at Browncroft for like two years now. It's yeah. gotten like all my attention. And she's gotta trust some weird guy to be there to do everything right. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if they're gonna handle it without me. <laughs> But I'm excited about the new store because it's like a baby just like Browncroft. It's like a little playhouse and I'm gonna run around and there's gonna be different kind of customers, different kind of vibe. It's just nice. It's like a nice change of pace. And something that I've realized when these stores, well, when I started working at each of these stores, I've worked in every single one of them for a good amount of time of my life. It's like allowing new things to happen to my life. Like the fact that this new store is opening and I'm spending so much time at this new store, it's like a new chapter. That's how I felt when I left Penfield to go to Browncroft and then Penfield to go to Henrietta. And you learn more about yourself at each store you do the more i reflect on it it's just all the stores feel like family members they feel like home they feel like home in a very strange way and like i i'm trying to explain it to you but like you just had to be there kind of a thing and i went down the wrong street the new store not even a camp sign on again still a little baby newborn oh she's gonna get out of the street here she is the old dry cleaner now a pizzeria dun 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 Papa, how much longer till we open? Not that long. This is the kitchen. <laughs> Apparently there's gonna be a mini sink here, which is so crazy, because the ovens are here and there's a sink. Yeah. I'm like, what? This is news to me. So, that's me interesting. The oven's a lot smaller in this one. I'm kind of excited about it. It's like fun size, you know what I mean? This is Fryer World. Compared to all the other stores that you saw, look how much smaller this one is. Even from Browncroft, it's supposed to be the same, but it still looks smaller. So this yeah, is where I'm fine. gonna watch Netflix. <laughs> you can absolutely download Netflix on this thing. Can I download Twitch, like the Twitch app? Oh yeah, you can download oh, Can I do that? But then you wouldn't be able to get any orders. That's okay, it's all about the stream. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's signed into my Gmail account right now. So we could check your email. What's your favorite store that you ever worked at? We went to all of them, they saw all the stores today, and they wanna know. Um, like what store taught you the most? What store do you enjoy working at the most? I probably went through the most lessons at the either the Mount Hope store. I learned how to make pizza there, learned how to do everything. You learned there too? Yeah. Oh. From the Browncroft store, I, I love that so much because that's my magnum opus in terms of a pizzeria. And then the Henrietta store, I learned a lot of lessons about business from that store. That's the first store that he opened, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Penfield store is very important to me because they like freaking moved my life for like start of, start of four months or so, but I got a lot of memories there. I learned, yeah, a lot of, learned a lot of different lessons there, and then um, Ontario, I've never worked at the Ontario store, ever. You never have? Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. Alright, well that was all from Cargazana. Alright, you guys. I think that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. We're gonna get sushi, though. Alright, bye.